Have you ever wondered how the legendary rivalry between Ferrari and Lamborghini started? It began with a simple complaint about a tractor clutch. Yes, you heard it right, a tractor clutch. The seeds of this legendary automotive confrontation were sown in the fertile ground of northern Italy, where both Enzo Ferrari and Ferruccio Lamborghini shared a burning passion for cars and mechanics. Enzo Ferrari, a man of fiery temperament and unyielding determination, founded his eponymous company in the year 1947. His vision was to create cars that were not just modes of transportation, but works of art, machines that embodied speed, power, and beauty. Ferrari cars were born on the racetrack, bred for performance, and they quickly gained recognition for their exceptional design and engineering. Meanwhile, Ferruccio Lamborghini, a successful tractor manufacturer, held a different vision. He dreamt of crafting cars that were not only fast and powerful, but also comfortable and well-engineered. However, it was his dissatisfaction with his own Ferrari that truly sparked the flame of competition. In the year 1963, Lamborghini, frustrated with the clutch of his Ferrari, decided to voice his grievances directly to Enzo Ferrari. Little did he know, this bold move would lead to a pivotal moment in automotive history. Enzo, known for his fiery personality, took Lamborghini's criticism as a personal affront. His response was less than cordial, dismissing Lamborghini's complaint and suggesting he stick to making tractors. This unceremonious dismissal was the final straw for Lamborghini. He decided then and there to create a car that would not only rival Ferrari but surpass it. With the help of former Ferrari employees, Lamborghini set out to create a car that would outperform and outshine Ferrari. And thus, the stage was set for an epic battle of speed, design, and prestige that would forever change the landscape of the automotive industry. Before we continue, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next awesome video. Drop a comment below to share your thoughts or any topics you'd love to see in future videos. As the 1960s rolled on, it became clear that the feud between the prancing horse and the raging bull was much more than just a personal vendetta. This was a battle for automotive supremacy, a quest for the ultimate sports car crown. In the heart of this battle, Ferruccio Lamborghini, with a desire to outshine Ferrari, quickly produced the 350 GT. This model was a marvel of its time, boasting a top speed of 158 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 acceleration in just 6.8 seconds. It was an impressive feat, but the true revolution was yet to come. In 1967, Lamborghini introduced the world to the Miura a car that would forever change the landscape of the automotive world. With its mid-engine design and a top speed of 173 miles per hour, the Miura was the epitome of a supercar. It was a machine that was as fierce as the raging bull it represented. Meanwhile, Ferrari was not idle. The prancing horse was galloping with models like the 250 GTO, a car that was as elegant as it was powerful. The GTO was a blend of speed and style, a testament to Ferrari's commitment to performance and aesthetics. However, the 1970s brought financial turmoil for Lamborghini. The raging bull was facing financial difficulties that threatened to take the company under. The oil crisis of the 70s hit Lamborghini hard, forcing it to change its ownership multiple times. This period of uncertainty inevitably affected Lamborghini's ability to compete with Ferrari, creating a noticeable shift in the rivalry. Despite the financial challenges, Lamborghini kept innovating, introducing the iconic Countach in the 1980s and the Diablo in 1990. These models were a bold statement. They were a reminder that the raging bull was still in the ring, ready to take on the prancing horse in the ongoing battle for automotive supremacy. The rivalry between Ferrari and Lamborghini entered a new era in the late 1990s with new ownership and renewed vigor. 
the winds of change swept through the halls of Lamborghini as Audi, a subsidiary of the Volkswagen Group, purchased the Italian automaker in 1998. This acquisition heralded a fresh start for Lamborghini, ushering in an era of improved quality and groundbreaking innovation. Under the wing of Audi, Lamborghini unveiled the Murcielago in 2001. A roaring success, the Murcielago was a testament to Lamborghini's resurgence, boasting a design that was as audacious as it was captivating. But it was more than just a pretty face. With its powerful engine and exceptional handling, the Murcielago was a worthy adversary to Ferrari's offerings during the same period. Not one to rest on its laurels, Lamborghini introduced the Gallardo in 2003. Smaller and lighter than the Murcielago, the Gallardo was designed to be a more accessible Lamborghini, without compromising on performance or style. This strategy paid off handsomely, with the Gallardo becoming the best-selling model in Lamborghini's history. Its success played a pivotal role in solidifying Lamborghini's position in the supercar market, proving that the brand could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ferrari. Ferrari, meanwhile, was not idle. The early 2000s saw the launch of iconic models such as the Enzo and the 360 Modena, both of which were lauded for their breathtaking performance and striking aesthetics. These models embodied the spirit of competition that has always defined the rivalry between Ferrari and Lamborghini. The rivalry between these two titans of the automotive world is more than just a competition. It's a relentless pursuit of excellence. Each new model is a challenge, an invitation to push the boundaries of what's possible. It's this fierce competition that has led to some of the most extraordinary supercars the world has ever seen. Today, the rivalry between Ferrari and Lamborghini continues, each pushing the other to greater heights in design, performance, and innovation. The Ferrari and Lamborghini rivalry has given us some of the most iconic and beloved supercars in history. From the birth of this competition in the 60s, spurred by a dispute over a tractor clutch, to the present day, their continuous race for supremacy has shaped the automotive industry. It has led to the creation of remarkable models such as the Ferrari 250, GTO, Lamborghini Miura, and the Gallardo. Their ongoing quest for excellence has set new standards, pushing the boundaries of design, speed, and luxury. Thank you for joining us on this journey through automotive history. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this legendary rivalry in the comments section below.